All right, I'm gonna go over um, your various recipe pages. So um, under appearance and menus, if you go under um, post type archives, you can link to all recipes. So that's just an FYI. If you wanna to link to more, you can link to the categories, cuisines, or ingredients by clicking screen options and selecting these. And then they'll show up in your sidebar if you wanna to list to those. So again, those are all recipes. There's categories, cuisines, and ingredients. You can actually do whatever you want with these three categories or three taxonomies. I just created three um, so you had a lot more control. If you want to do um, occasions or anything you need, uh, just, just take cuisine and make occasions with them instead, um, etc. So uh, let's go to recipes and let's add a new recipe. Let's call this example recipe. And we'll go over a couple of these options. Um, so you can select categories, cuisines, you can add them, etc. Pretty easy stuff. Um, here in the sidebar, let's go ahead and add an image. So if you add an image, you want to set it as a featured image. Let's go ahead and upload one. And you'll click set featured image, select your image, set as a featured image, and it will show up down here as a featured image. Then you can add in your time if you want. If you leave any of these options blank, they'll automatically disappear. You can add in an excerpt if you want. This is what displays on the home page as an excerpt. All right, so let's go ahead and publish this. And I'm gonna open this in a new tab and uh, we can go to recipes and view it. So you can see your new recipe, it's showing up. Click on it. You have your featured image, all the stuff we added. Uh, and let's go ahead and go over how to add the content. So it's pretty easy. Let's say you wanna add um, the ingredient list. That's just a bulleted list. So if you bullet a list, we can go ingredient one. And let's go ahead and update that. And you can now refresh and you'll see that's the ingredient list. So it's pretty cool. Um, we automatically style that for you. All you do is create a bulleted list. So if you want to create um, directions, so let's go and do direction one. You'll just click on a number list. Pretty cool. So I want to refresh so you can see those steps. So you got your directions, you have your ingredient list. Um, pretty easy to create that. Um, okay, so then let's say you want to add in more images. All you have to do is edit this post. While editing it, let's go ahead and add in a couple more images. <clears throat> so we added three more images, just for example's sake. Just close out of that, do not insert it into the post. Update that. Refresh and you'll automatically see them pop up in the gallery. Again, that's while editing it. And let's say you wanna adjust the order down here or something like that, just go to add media, go to upload it to this post, and you'll see your three images that you added in the gallery. You can just drag and drop to adjust the order. You can select them and delete them if you want, all sorts of options. Once you're done adjusting them, just click out of it. Do not click insert to post. Update your post and you can refresh it and you'll see the order has changed, it's flip-flopped. Um, so it's pretty easy to add your gallery. Um, it's automatically built for you when you upload images to your post. Again, you can go to add media and see uploaded to this post if you want to see a list of them. Then the last thing I want to go over is a video post. So if you remove an image or if you don't have a featured image and you update your post, the single page won't display anything, but your recipe will have a fallback image. Let's go ahead and just show you how to do a video. The video is super easy. I have a video right here. We'll just go ahead and go and grab the embed code, copy it, then go under video embed, paste that, and make sure it's just the iframe code and you're done.